So we're really excited to introduce our friend Ryan Wiggins from Abyss Battery over there with Captain Lewis on the uh, Tackle Table Talk presented by Louis. Nature Coast Financial Advisors. There we go. Boom. Take it away, Louis. Oh, we're going straight to me. Um, like Gary <laughs> just said, um, we're going to go into Abyss Batteries. Gary has one on his boat. He's loving it so far. I'm going to ask Ryan a bunch of questions, and he's going to answer them very thoroughly. Um, <laughs> we're, we were talking earlier, and I didn't need to ask anything. I wrote everything down I wanted to ask so that he could spit it back out to you guys. Um, but pretty much we're going to start with, you know, just how did Abyss Batteries come to be, um, where are you guys located, little stuff like that. Right on. Thanks for having me on the show, of first course. of all. Um, so Abyss Battery was created by Nick, the owner, Nick Basileros. Um, he worked for another lithium company, major lithium company, for about 10 years. Decided to branch off on good terms, create a battery specifically designed for offshore use and a battery specifically designed for trolling motor use. That's awesome. Is it, I think the, the biggest thing, obviously, we're going to talk about at the end is, you know, the crazy advantages to these things. But what's like the main difference between an Abyss battery or a lithium battery and a regular lead acid battery? The first thing you're going to notice when you get hands on with a lithium battery versus a lead acid or AGM battery is going to be the weight and the size. We have a tremendous amount of power inside these small units that are lightweight. I mean, you're talking 20, 30 pounds with the power that equates to four, sometimes five lead acid batteries or AGMs. I think that's what's crazy to all of us. I mean, all of us have these small hatches where we put our batteries and, you know, obviously sometimes when you have to mess with your trim tabs to get that side to come back up because there's so much weight there. Right. Um, like we're talking about where you're going to put this stuff is like installation the same or how, how, I mean, is there anything we need to know as far as the difference in installation wise from lead acid to um, lithiums? Installation is going to be the same. Like our 3660 is a group 31 battery. We have group 31s, group 27s, group 24s. They're most common batteries. Right, so they're going to fit where your lead acid or AGM fit before. The major difference during installation, wires are the same, equipment's the same except for charging. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a charger, like our charger, that has a lithium charge profile. There's no float on lithium. It's constant across the board. When it's full, it turns off, it's done. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much the, the only difference. That's the coolest thing when we were talking about it beforehand um, is like the fact that you have, you, know, you have an app, obviously, that links to this battery. Um, it'll show you, you know, how much battery life you have left, what it's going to take to, um, you know, how much life it has left expectancy wise, you know, throughout the years and whatnot. I think that's, that's something that, you know, all of us don't have as of right now that you can't get with a lead acid battery right. unless you have some kind of charge system or something like that. As far as warranty goes, what, what are we looking for, looking at for as far as like, as any of these batteries go, is it five year, 10 year, how's that work? So on the, the, the big scheme, we cover your battery for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So we do five years, no questions asked. If you have an issue with the battery, something goes down, we'll replace it you know, for free, get it back. Um, sometime we'll cut them open and see what failed inside, yeah. if, it's, uh, if it's something new. Um, for the last five years, if your battery fails, we're gonna give you 35% off on a new, on a replacement battery. Now, we do offer a $200 upgrade mm -hmm. for the warranty. So if you pay the 200 bucks, your five year, no questions asked, turns into seven years. Mm -hmm. And then we give you half off of batteries for life. That's amazing. As far as like a price point goes, goes, I know that, you know, we did the math. It seemed like we buy, as guides, we buy motor or buy batteries every, every year, sometimes, yep. you know, a little bit less than a year. It sounded like in three and a half, maybe four years that these batteries were gonna pay for that. And if you have a warranty for more than that, it just makes total sense. Right. You know, obviously you have so much you know, less weight and everything. As far as you said, you guys, have we talked about where you're from, where your company is? Um, have we said, uh, where is it? We're in Largo, Florida, okay. So like Clearwater. As, as Chris River is, you know, we're two hours from there, um, which you know, customer service wise, you know, who, who answers the phone? This is my favorite question. Who answers the phone? Who answers, answers the phone? Exactly. I you know, do the, all the customers. The best part is like, you know, as a, this show that we have that's, you know, very localized, we have a lot of people around Florida that watch it, but it's really cool to be able to have the person who's answering the phone, you know, when we have a problem. We There's not a lot of places 
there's not a lot of companies that we deal with where we can see the face that we are actually going to be calling. Um, let's see, I've got some more stuff down. Cooling batteries yeah. last so much longer. As far as lead acid batteries, you know, like I was saying with four years or what, what's the reasoning behind these batteries actually lasting so much longer than a regular lead acid battery? Well, the reason they last longer is because the cells inside of the battery are good for 8,000, 10,000 cycles. Mm -hmm. You can go up and down all the way thousands and thousands of times before you're you know, starting to inflict damage and changing the chemistry. Exactly. The and I heard you earlier, you were saying something about the reason that you know, a lead acid battery doesn't last very long is because if you knock that battery all the way down, right. that's, what's, that's what hurts the battery the most. And it doesn't hurt this battery. Correct. This battery you can take all the way down to 5%. We're going to have a constant voltage all the way to the end or lead acid AGM. When you go below 60% on those batteries, you're actually losing voltage. Mm -hmm. And every time you bring it down further than like 50%, it's like you're giving the battery a concussion. You're hurting the brain inside of that battery and the way that the chemicals actually interact with each other with the electrolysis and stuff going on, on the inside. Exactly. You can ruin a lead acid battery in a weekend. That's the truth, and I've done it before, for sure. Um, Let's, we probably hit on it 15 times now, but this is going to be a big question for everybody is what is the biggest advantage to having this battery? I mean, we know obviously lasts longer, it's lighter. What was the other one? I mean, it's smaller. Smaller. We had a great one, but um, as far as like little, little boats, you were talking about it so much while we were just hanging out here earlier. The biggest advantage for these batteries is weight. I mean, at the 30, end of the day, weight and size. Yes, a 36 volt system battery is, you know, lighter than a regular um, 12 volt battery. We talked about how much did a, a regular 36 volt battery weigh for yours? Ours is about 33 pounds okay. for a 3660. Exactly. So that's what changes 57 pounds per battery to 33 pounds of one battery. It's a massive difference. I was talking about it earlier. I have I like to have a lot of weight in my bow just because it crushes through waves every day. I would take one of these batteries and put it next to my other ones, use that one, and leave the other ones in there for just weight. Just for the weight. Just for the weight. <laughs> I'm probably just different. Um, something else that I really want to ask you, you know, there's a bunch of, I shouldn't say a bunch, there's a few lithium battery companies. We walked around ICAST for hours. It seemed like they were every, on, on, on every corner. Why, why Abyss batteries besides y'all being close? So, I mean, a lot of guys feel comfortable knowing that we are anglers and that we design these batteries specifically for fishing and trolling motors. That gives a lot of guys comfort and they know that they can call and not only talk to us about the batteries, but about their application. Like, okay, we're targeting this kind of fish on the Gulf Stream. We're targeting this kind of fish in North Carolina, you know, deep dropping, what have you. Um, that's... It makes total sense. I mean, if you think about something, these boats are being put into some of the biggest, you know, most expensive boats in the market. You're talking about Sea Hunters and Freemans right. and and just all these boats. I mean, if if they weren't exactly what you say they are, these companies would not be buying them. Right. And sure. we have certifications that back that up. We pay people to test our batteries and to certify us for what we claim. Exactly. Um, but as far as you're asking about comparing to other batteries like Why Abyss and stuff, or as you're walking around ICAST. If you look at our batteries and our spec sheet, look at the size, look at the weight, look mm -hmm. at the cold cranking amps. How many batteries can you put in series or how many batteries can you put in parallel? And no one will compare. Some guys get close, but we will outperform any batteries on the market in North America right now. There are some guys that do, you know, special batteries with high cold cranking amps because they program their BMS that way. They mm -hmm. run those types of wires, but you can't run them in parallel. You can't run them in series. So if you bought a 3660 on your, you know, 46 foot Freeman or 47 foot Freeman, you called me six months later and said, Ryan, I'm, I'm finding the bottom of this battery. I got a 9,000 pound boat and I'm trying to fish in 20 mile an hour winds. I could give you another 3660 to run in parallel. So now you got 120 amp hours, double mm -hmm. the capacity. For sure. So you can't do that with a lot of other batteries. Anybody notice how many numbers that was? Sorry. <laughs> that was nothing compared to what was happening earlier. Um, I know Zach might have a question. As okay. far as I, I got a quick question, because my arm's getting ready to cramp up. I got the app pulled up on my phone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> was there? There it is. All right. So Ryan, the cycle life. So you right. got zero to five thousand. Right. Right now it's on four. Will this app tell you? Like, will it adjust to the five thousand to let you know it's end of its life cycle, or 
What's yeah, the... five thousand isn't isn't even the end of the life cycle. That's just where we have it now, and we can reprogram that within the app. Um, if you go over, you know, five thousand cycles. And then, all right. So the oh, so you actually connected to a battery. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure which one it connected to, yeah, but it was super, to super easy to connect. You said one of the most technical questions you get calls on is how to connect because people have a hard time getting out of the. What, what were you saying earlier? Sleep mode, and yeah. Yeah. Bluetooth, closing apps. I wouldn't say that's the most technical. It's all. It's actually the most basic, but that's the most common question I get. Gotcha. Because unfortunately, we are working with Bluetooth technology, which is pretty old. And if you connect to a battery, like you're connected right now, if you walk 30 feet away, you're going to lose signal. There's really no way for the Bluetooth to reconnect to itself. So you got to shut down the app and open it back up. And I've oh. had to explain how to actually close an app to people because they don't know how to close an app. Yeah, I mean, that guy Sorry, th there's man. just all kinds of good information in here. Sure. And, you know, I've yet to see my trolling motor get under 80%. And I've worked it harder than ever because I keep trying to push its limits, but I haven't found a limit yet. So think about 5,000 life cycles. That's insane. That's just on the app, though. We're going to warranty you over 8,000. Wow. All right. We got a question up here uh, on the screen. So Chuck Black wants to know so if I need a replacement in two years, does that restart my five years or only three? It's going to restart your five years. It's a brand new battery. Wow. So it's a five year, no question asked. Yep. And then starts over when it's replaced. So that's somebody that stands behind their product. <laughs> wow. We got another question. So Kenneth uh, Kreitenmeyer here, just customer service alone sounds great, but what's the price range? So price range, I mean, we're, we're competitive. Um, we're not cheap, yeah. but we're not the most expensive. Right. I mean, at 12 volt 120, you're looking at about $1,300 with Bluetooth right. equipped. But if you break it, like, obviously I did the math before I got mine. It's, it makes sense because, you know, I'm an avid angler, guiding, everything else. I spent more time, uh, you know, on batteries out. changing bad. Yeah, because on if you run three lead acids, you have one go bad. It's just like a diesel truck. You need to replace all three. And I'm telling you right now, it's the performance alone and then that space. It's there's You can't put a price tag on this. So let me add something to that. That three battery setup you're talking about, lead acid, AGM. As far as all batteries go, whether it's lead acid, AGM, lithium, when you run three batteries in series at 12 volts to meet 36 volts, one of those batteries, it's usually the number two battery, is going to be treated like the middle child. Okay, it's always going to be abused more. One of those batteries is going to fail sooner. And that's with all of them. It's just the way the electricity works. You know, it's the way stuff flows while it's charging. Wow. So knowing that one of your batteries, number two, is going to fail sooner than the other two. And with three in series, you're dropping your whole system. Wow. All right. And we actually experienced that with your boat. Yeah. I think it was number two that failed. And I think it even, uh, balance out of the I'm yeah. pretty sure it even toasted my old trolling motor too. So there's so many advantages to it. Um, the customer, like you guys know, everything that we deal in and we, we bring on the show, it's everything is really based around customer service and great product. Stuff we're willing to put in our boats. Absolutely. Actually use the heck out of it. So, uh, Zach, I know you've got some questions on this. Well, I mean, <clears throat> honestly, you guys have covered absolutely everything. I, what really piqued my interest is you pay people to use your batteries. Um, so I, how do i get signed up for that part? i mean I'm, you, you, all the information i just got i'm completely completely sold and ryan trust me on no one will uh test the abuse oh, to a battery me. than zach zachary believe me, believe me. His, his fuel filter is in his build so. hey that's fixed that's fixed okay <laughs> Now it's just on the deck. All right, is it my, is it my turn? <laughs> uh, we got a commercial break. But Ryan, thank you so much for being here. Um, and thank you so much for standing behind an incredible product. Uh, so, so Brianna said, uh, Billy spent more time replacing the batteries on your boat, LOL. Uh -huh. Ryan, thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanna say before? Uh, um, I mean, as far as just to retouch on customer service stuff, if you if you go on our website and you pop up that chat box and you say, hey, I have a question or, hey, I have uh, a, I need technical support, that comes to my phone like a text message. Wow. And I answer that. I mean, Saturday night, Sunday night, you know, I've, I've gotten messages at 11 o'clock at night and help people. 
and Nick, the owner's on there as well. We try to maintain 24 seven customer support the best we can. Obviously we need to sleep, but we're always there. If you call the office, we answer on the first or second ring. If we don't answer, if we're out at lunch, it'll forward to our cell phones. That's awesome. How many people work in Charles company? There's three of us right now. That's See? awesome. Yeah. That's that incredible. Awesome. And Ryan has one of the coolest dogs ever too. <laughs> that is for sure. Currently he's sleeping. Yep. <laughs> um, so again, thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, I mean, I'm loving my product so far. I really awesome. encourage y'all to uh, to jump aboard this abyss phenomenon we're seeing. So go online and check out some of the cool things they have to offer. You will not Small be disappointed. Batteries to the big ones. Well, Billy, let's go ahead and jump to a commercial break so we can get back and hear uh, Captain Zachariah Zachary talk about fishing. Fish